All right, what up? Sorry, I, uh, <laughs> I just updated my iPhone. I was updating it and it just ended or just finished, so I had to do a couple things. But uh, yeah, uh, no green screen today. There's a dog laying on my legs, so I'm also going to um, be muting the mic on and off and just kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I already got all the drums for this one, so we're gonna look for a melody. That is a drum pack. Let's find something else. I'll grab that just in case, but I might not use it. I'm picking like all the worst packs right now. <laughs> it's all claps and drums. Sound that bad. Let's see. Let's try that one. I like that perk though. I'm definitely gonna grab that. Keep looking. I just made a beat before this too. Kind of messing with um, doing the drums first, which I kind of like now actually. I'm finding more that I like the drums better than the melodies now, at least like the last couple ones that I've made.
Let me do you. What's going on, man? What's popping, bro? <laughs> what is it now? Uh, seven days to the album. Let's go. Some Phil Collins, yeah. Yeah, actually, I might, I might try and throw that on there. I don't mind it. <laughs> I can feel it calling in the air tonight. Hold on. Or like Tarzan soundtrack, Phil Collins, bro. That is my shit. <laughs> All right, 79 to 88. Shit. Seven days, boy. Let's go. Oh, dude, I can't wait. I'm going to be bumping that the whole way to Florida, in Florida, and the whole way back. Oh, dude. Front to back every time. Oh, wait, I need my calculator. Oh. Uh, 79. Yeah, sorry, I'm bad at math. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Let's go down. I hit that raffle you guys were doing. I threw like ten bucks on that hoe, bro. I got I got a lot of uh, I got I got high probability on that one. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I like I like the way those look. The Welcome to Vegas mugs are tight. All the shirts are dope, dude. You got good merch. You got really good merch. So I'm excited either way. Oh hell yeah, dude. Make those CDs, bro. We always wanted to do that for all the releases, honestly, but we just never really I think we did it one time. We used to burn our, our demos onto CDs a lot. And we made like maybe four of one of our older albums. That's the way to do it, though, man. Get those hard copies. Fuck yeah. sick bro i feel like I, we know someone who does cassettes right it's either ben buck or maybe pudge i want to say uh squid was talking about that man not long ago i'd have to ask him i'm pretty sure one of them does though yeah oh nice okay ben buck that'd be tight bro
Yeah, dude, cassette would be dope. Yeah, oh, dude, vinyls. Oh, my God. We've looked into that, too. It's it's not cheap. <laughs> like, no wonder these bands are charging, like, 50, 60 a vinyl. Holy shit. Or at least some of the, like, bigger ones. But, yeah, dude, they are pricey. Which, oh, dude, I still don't fully understand how it works. I know they put, like, the vibrations in there or whatever, or the needle goes off the... <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I've just been smoking too much. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the concept. I just still don't get how they can put a song just onto that, you know? Man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I think what was at least where we were looking, the least amount of vinyls you could do was like a hundred, maybe. Maybe, but it was like it was pretty pricey for that hundred. Or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We've looked into it before. And we're like, oh my god, yeah, maybe someday. That would be the vibe, though. It'd be tight. I only own two vinyls right now. I'm still kind of getting into collecting. I just have nowhere to put them. But Squid's got the vinyls on deck, bro. <laughs> Potato boy, what's poppin'? He's in as a midi, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Poor man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, my buddy Squid Essential gave me this one. Um, and then I'm using the MPC2 software. And then, um, let me see, I have it right here. Splice for the samples, for at least most of them. We got um, a bunch of drum packs on the side that I like to go through and use. Yeah. <laughs> now that's not too bad. Or, oh, you mean like the little screen right there? Yeah. That one would. <laughs> yeah, the small one would definitely suck. If you're just like stuck on just that, I don't even know what half of that means. Especially once you start getting into um, like plugins. Jay Dillon, Alchemist used that. Yeah, dude. 
or used yeah i know it's insane man it's, it's, it's crazy how you can get with it especially with like samples my homie downstairs has a hookup where he just gets vinyls like really old vinyls and he'll go look through for samples and just let it play and try and find something that he wants to sample like you can do so much with stuff like this it's pretty cool Great dude, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. I know it's it's I still don't understand it. I'd like to get into it at some day someday, but I was just telling let me do yeah, I only own like two vinyls, so there's no point yet. Cause we actually we had a really nice vinyl shop out here and I think they either changed locations or they closed. So like we're kind of in a uh a vinyl famine out here in Colorado. There's probably more more places up in Denver that would have some, but yeah, that's what's up nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I mean people are really getting back into it. Um, oh, who did I just see? <laughs> Billie Eilish was talking shit. Uh, apparently on Taylor Swift. Oh, like Las Vegas has a lot a lot of vinyl shops, dude. We need to stop in there. And pick up some because yeah I, I yeah i don't know where ours, ours went oh yeah dude the prices are are insane depending on the band i feel like because like i got um god what's the name slow meadow it's like just modern day um classical music and his vinyl was only like 28 bucks which is i don't know where that sits on the scale i've seen like brand new vinyls for like 40 plus 50 like, oh, dude. But I guess to make a profit of it, they kind of have to for the amount that it costs to make all those vinyls. It's uh, insane. synth on it there's bass I guess I can go guitar or sax oh yeah I did cut my hair uh, I got a business trip coming up um, next Sunday damn I'm going to Florida for 10 days uh, for work, I got to be at a conference for like three of those days. So yeah, I had to chop her off. But, you know, it grows back fast. I think where I had it, I used to be this low last January. And then I had to cut it off for a conference last year. And I didn't cut it until just recently, like the other day. So, yeah, pretty much just for that. I had to shave a little bit too, but I'm keeping the mustache. Just to show Florida what's up, you know. I'm going to Miami. <laughs> I'm going to Miami and Orlando and Inglewood and maybe Cape Coral. We're, we're meeting a bunch of clients and shit out there. And I'm the marketer, so I basically have to film and document everything. <laughs> Mustaches form will do looking good. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. I was going to go baby face, but I, I like keeping the mustache. I feel like it gets thicker as I just keep trimming it. So I don't want to cut it all off. It takes, it takes me a long time to grow facial hair back. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh man. Uh, C, C major. Yeah. Fuck it. We'll go guitar. Just a one shot. 
RPM. Better than no motion, yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Man, that's bars, bro. That's <laughs> damn. Oh shit. Uh, it needs to be faster. Right? Doesn't matter if it grows in slowly. Shit grows right. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean the. Oh man, the beard is so patchy still, but it'll get there, you know. Been hitting the gym more, that'll that'll probably help. <laughs> I gotta find out where to put this. Let's see. Dermarolian maybe if it doesn't work out. Oh, okay. Or dermarolin. I think the problem is when I was younger, I put Rogaine on my face because <laughs> I thought it would help it grow a beard faster. <laughs> I must have been like a teenager and I wanted a beard so bad. And I think the Rogaine actually ended up fucking up the growth because wherever I didn't put it is growing better. I think I put it on the sides mostly. So like I pretty much only grow right here, but the other start, the other parts are starting to come in. Minoxidil. <laughs> first time I read it, I read it as a mox, as Dermarillion, and then that, my, <laughs> Minoxidil. My brain wants to go Minoxidilly, I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to throw this in at the beginning. problem with it is that it kind of at least at first makes you dependent on it so i should have taken i should have taken it pretty consistently and it probably would have done pretty well but i took it like once or twice oh yep yeah, yeah see <laughs> and wispy as fuck yeah and i think a big part of it at least on my end is, is genetics too because oh man I th well my grand one of my grandpas grew a really nice beard the other one really didn't never grew much i don't know my dad is kind of eh. my brother's got a beard now but he's it took him till like mid 30s for it to really really get there so i got a couple more years before i'm on on his level i think but I don't mind. I, I know as soon as I can grow it well, that within like the first year, I'm going to be so sick of maintaining it. Cause like I met a guy, my first job was at target and this dude that worked there always had like a thick five o'clock shadow. And he was like, I just gave up on shaving, man. Cause I would shave and then 
literally like the next day it would be right back to where it was like this dude could grow a beard man <laughs> it's insane it's like I, I can't waste the money on razors anymore so i know once it gets to that point i'm gonna be like oh god but you know you get beard oils and shit that's the fun part when you can kind of like style it i just want to be able to curl the mustache like a villain you know <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to take that one. The only problem with Splice, and it's not even really a problem, but I have the desktop open there, and then I also have the app open on my other screen because you get the sample from... Bless you, dog. You get the sample from uh, the desktop, and then you have to uh, transfer it over from the Splice app to be able to get it onto the program. Yeah, Salvador Dali mustache, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, now the sun's... I guess I could turn another light on. Uh, nah, fuck it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the BPM? 85. Not no mo. Fo, po fo, vo. Pitch it down two seventy fo. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, shit, what was his newest shit? Was that with... Oh, man, I'm going to sound like an idiot. Dumbo Genesis? No. Let me see. Dude, I love Alchemist. Oh, the Theodore and Andre? Oh, Hit Boy and the Alchemist. Okay. I haven't heard that yet. Um, I think the last thing I had heard was, uh, one of his appears on, oh, it's not showing up. Oh, with Earl was the latest. Okay. Um, yes. Oh yeah. It's right there. E. Coli. Oh wait, no, that's, uh, that's on the bread album, which has a lot of West side gun Conway. It's got the Earl on it. Um, yeah, dude, he is, uh, Alchemist is just insane with it, dude. Yeah, exactly. He has new albums, like, every week, dude. It's it's insane. Him and, um, have you heard of Chewy? C-H-U-W-E-E? -C -E? I think is how you spell it. Like, those are the two people right now that I listen to that release something, like, every other week, dude. It's insane. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, Vordoir, Vord, Vor, Vor Dyer. <laughs> That's the album. Yeah, I've only gone through it a little bit. I really need to give that one another try. Man, I need to give other music in general a try. It's been kind of. Wait, all right. did I even put this sample in yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I lose my train of thought so fast. Um. Yeah, I've been trying to, to get into other stuff more. Because I do find myself listening to the same shit a lot. Recently started producing. Oh, dude, definitely. I'll listen to your beat. Um, let's see here. Absolutely. I can just put my email in the chat. Or, oh, link it. Yeah, link it. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. I I was streaming a while back, and uh, this guy came on, and he's like, "Bro, you gotta listen to one of my songs. Check it out, and let me know how you like it." So I listened to it on stream, and he had already like posted it everywhere. 
So I got a copyright claim as soon as I dropped it, or as soon as the stream was over. It's called Potato Boy Shit Alchemist Beat on YouTube. Got you. Okay. Um, throw it on a new window, and I'll just throw it over here. Don't mind my algorithm. There's a bunch of wrestling shit on there and all that. Uh, <laughs> Okay, there's number one. There's number two. All right. Don't steal my fucking beat. Damn, bro, I like that. Reminds me of like a, it's very jazzy. It's like a, that movie Whiplash, that song they're playing at the end. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's dirty. Damn. <laughs> Do not steal my beat, thanks. I love that, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's dope. Ooh. Yeah, Potato Boy, damn. Oh, bro, while I'm here, gotta hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Ring that bell to get notified. I got you, man. I got you. I'm subscriber number eight. You heard it here first. P Lang. <laughs> got you, man. Oh. Yeah, I need to post some beats on here, but I, mean, I have some actually that I'm thinking about starting to do it feedback um man i don't know shit not nothing negative because i mean they're or not negative but like no like criticisms because i'm still really new at it too i mean it's it's good i like it <laughs> i would definitely rap on that um i just say keep going i mean you're, you're killing it already man that's a good beat that's a really good beat um, you number one. Don't steal my fucking beat. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. That's who's Man Manuel Mac. Oh, okay. You posted it with your permission. Nice. That ain't yours. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. That's so weird that it's not there's the dude even put it on there that it was all credits to Potato Boy. <laughs> oh, okay. You wanted to add drums. <laughs> Interesting. You thought the beat was beat. ass. Oh shit! What did I just do? Don't steal my fucking beat. And... Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear it now. So you removed their original. Yeah. Hold up, just for you. Ooh, okay. What's up? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna save this one while we're while we're doing that. Before I forget. Twenty nine, twenty five. 
All right, let me see where I'm at with this while you're doing that. Oh, okay. Wait. Give you a sneak peek into my original beat, which the guy tried to add drums to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty ass beat, so I removed the original one. I might have to refresh it a couple times, and then it'll be up. Oh, look at that. This Savannah Bananas are going live. <laughs> That's that baseball team. All right, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to throw a crash on this real quick. Yeah, sure. starting absolutely bro I'm, I'm not very consistent with live streaming but but like with beats absolutely man um let's see i'll type my email in the chat make sure i got that right yeah and then yeah anytime i'm on um oh yeah and then ig I got you on that too. That'll be my username. Oh yeah, it's the same as my name on here. <laughs> um, right? Yeah. So I've been in corporate world, so I go straight to email every time. Yeah, over underscore sleazy. Um, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, hit me up any time. Hey, there he is. Hit that follow back ASAP. Yeah. Because there ain't no follow back, girl. Damn, it got really dark in here now. The sun's <laughs> killing the other side. <laughs> I just keep refreshing it. Number two still, right? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Don't steal my fucking beat.
Yeah, no, dude, you could do so much with that. Let's see. Um, let me just go back to the drum pack. Where do I put that? Oh, you mean this is like that new Alchemist Drumbo shit? Yeah, cause didn't um I heard somewhere because people were talking about oh it was on threads, dude. I've been on threads way too much lately. But someone was talking on like you can't make a song on a on a f eight bar loop, and someone commented like tell that to Alchemist who made the like the one beat was a it was a two bar loop and no drums and someone made a whole song out of it. And so it's like, dude, oh man, Threads is the worst. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's tight. Some like someone like uh, someone like Earl could just you know rap over that. Don't even need the drums. Yeah. Sweating through my sweater vest. Test. Nevertheless, I'm sweating through my vest. Open the check. Open the check. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Let me do you too. He's dirty with the beats, man. Absolutely. You gotta you gotta follow him on Instagram too. He's the homie for the longest time and for life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've been working with him for a little while now, for a couple of years. I think it's been a year or two now. Yeah, man. He is ridiculous with it. And especially once you get into like mixing and stuff, let me do you and Squid Essential are the two to talk to because they are like on top of the game, dude. Oh my God. So good. <laughs> See, I made something right before I got on. Let's see if it's decent. Stone in space. Oh wait, did I make this? I can't remember if I've been on the same beat the whole stream or not. We're about to find out. <laughs> I think my roommate's dog needs to go out, so I'm gonna let her out real quick. I'll just leave this beat on, and we'll be our B.
can we brought Squid Essential? <laughs> First and then Hey, stop licking my legs, bro. Just me. <laughs> you can keep your tongue to yourself, <laughs> pup. You know I don't like that. I tell you that every time I don't like that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mm -hmm, seven days. Let's see, all right. You want the next one? I'll swap sure, it. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Let me get it back and forth on it. What up, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Chad? What up? Yeah. Oh yeah, what do I got? Fifteen seventy three. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Every time I get below fifteen on here it goes right back up. I have like seventeen credits right now. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Jesus. Girl, you better, you better chill with that. <laughs> Inside boys and dogs. Yeah.
<laughs> Fucking dog. Nice. Alright. Let's see. Can I go on Splice website on this? Yeah, website? yeah, it's under uh, Chrome. Should be open on one of the tabs. Yeah. Switch over here. Yeah.
Spotify, man. Check it out.
lighthearted and bass. It's like one note. <laughs> I thought it was pretty ass. It's the one before this one. Don't steal my fucking beat. <laughs> the first one you showed me. Uh, no, I think that was the, the version one of this one. Where are you at? You out there? <laughs> and then the one that he thought 
thought was pretty ass. Don't steal my fucking beat. It's like an alchemist type, like no drums. <laughs> Someone like Earl could put something on this. <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. You hear that potato boy? He said this one's got more flow potential. Not pretty ass. It's, it's, it's like a pretty ass. Yeah. <laughs> pretty titties. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the MCC. <laughs> About to take it international. <laughs> but you already knew that. But you already know. Let's see, I've been using this shit already. Soul providers today. Oh man. Yeah. I'm stoned. I'm gonna put a perk on there first. Oh, <laughs> 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 hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we just listened to him. Uh, let's see, 95. <laughs> I'll rewind that be right now hell yeah <laughs>
said that's some West Side shit. Hell yeah. Obey's loose foods. <laughs> All potato boys out here. Word, bro. Oh yeah, man. Thanks for stopping by. I might go live one more time before I go. It's next Sunday, so. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah, link is in the description for uh, Squid Essentials channel. We're going to go live there tomorrow in the big studio. Just fucking jam out. Oh, my God. 
Chat, we're ending it there. Keep a gangster out there, P Lane. On God on everything. <laughs> and then we'll see you in Studio A tomorrow night. Oh yeah, let me do his album drop in April 5th. You got some features on there, man. Mm-hmm. And it's hot. It's hot. Also enter the raffle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, enter that raffle on Let Me Do His Instagram. Uh, link to Squid Essentials. YouTube's in the description. So we'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs>